Thanks, I needed that. Yes. Hola. This town is so very nice, and everything is just so very, very nice. What's your connection with this fella? I was his lawyer. Oh, it's a shaft in some all right? And what was he in prison for? No, really. What, but what did you do? Have you been following me? Well, it's a small town. Every way you turn, I guess we're going to run into each other. <laughs> Dad, you should have just punched him out. Yeah, you know how to fight, dirty. You do that for a living. This guy, uh, he threatened you? He's clever. So that the law can't touch him. Come out, come out, wherever you are. You have a daughter around 16? 16? What? Every good man's got to wrestle with the devil. I want you the hell off my property! You, sir, will be hearing from the ethics committee. We got this freaking psychopath in our faces. I mean, who knows what's true and what isn't? I'm just losing my mind here. I called the vet, and then he died. Lee, I told you not to let him out. I didn't let him out! I didn't let him out! It would be unethical of me to advise a citizen to take the law into his own hands. You thought about me last night, didn't you? Good evening, ladies. Hello. I think we're alone now. Where are you from? I'm from the Black Forest. Maybe I'm a big bad wolf. Do you mind if I put my arm around you? Ah, uh, yes. Cape Fear. It's a 1991 remake. It's about a convicted rapist released from prison after serving a 14-year sentence, who then stalks the family of the lawyer who originally defended him. He blames him for getting convicted. An outstanding movie, directed by Martin Scorsese, one of my favorite directors. 67 credits as a director, but he's working on a couple more as we speak. And some of them were my favorite movies. Just going to mention five biggies. Taxi Driver, Raging Bull, Goodfellas, Casino, and The Departed. By the way, I attended the New York Film Academy in the early 90s, located in Robert De Niro's Tribeca building down in the village. Scorsese, De Niro, and Harvey Keitel all had offices in the building. A thrill back then to pass one of them in the hall. The top three stars in this version of Cape Fear are Robert De Niro, Nick Nolte, and Jessica Lange. And by the way, De Niro starred in four of the five Scorsese movies I just mentioned, everyone except The Departed. Juliet Lewis, Joe Don Baker, and Fred Thompson play nice supporting roles. And Gregory Peck, Robert Mitchum, and Martin Balsam, who were all in the original Cape Fear 29 years earlier, play cameo roles in this remake. Like most projects involving Scorsese and De Niro, this movie is suspenseful, chilling, and entertaining. Robert De Niro. 130 credits. He plays the convicted rapist and he uses a voice that gave Scorsese the creeps. So, De Niro would call him and leave voice messages in that creepy tone. Here he is in Taxi Driver, The Godfather Part 2, The Deer Hunter, Raging Bull, and Midnight Run. I love them all. Nick Nolte, 114 credits. He plays the former attorney. Here he is in The Deep, North Dallas 40, 48 hours, another 48 hours, and the Prince of Tides. Jessica Lang, 48 credits. She plays Nick Nolte's wife who comes under attack. We just talked about her last week for her roles in King Kong and The Postman Always Rings twice. Plus she's also in Tootsie and Everybody's All American. Cape Fear is outstanding. In fact, both versions are. They're based on John D. McDonald's original novel the Executioners, now out of print, but morphed into Cape Fear. And one day next year, I'll compare the original and the remake. By the way, don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm wearing my Nikki Football t-shirt. 
Nick Foles. Uh, just watch the Eagles take no prisoners against the 49ers and advance to the Super Bowl. And my true crime, classic outlaw biker saga, Born to be Wild, is available at Amazon and most booksellers. And you can check out all my books at barryboat.com. Thanks for stopping in today. Until next time. See you. And that's a wrap.